What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, as you guys can see, we have bonus, additional infamy for Gambit this week, so definitely go ahead and grind out Gambit. And, uh, we actually have an old friend. Hmm. Your ghost receives a transmission from Banshee44. Seems he has something that he'd like to give you. A gift. Visit Banshee in the tower at your earliest convenience. So yeah, we're definitely going to go ahead and do that. Then we also have this wonderful master difficulty of nightmares that has been unlocked. So yeah, that's going to be extremely challenging. So let's go ahead and start with the challenges first. Coming down here, we need to go ahead and complete eight bounties for the Vanguard, for the Crucible, as well as the Gunsmith. Then we need to go ahead and get 100% of Vex parts collected for Ikora as well as get 5,000 XP for your clan and eight bounties for the Drifter. Now, we also have uh, four chests to open as well as two weapons to forge. However, if you are at least, I wanna say 950, you do not need to do this because legendary gear does not help you increase your, uh, how do you say, your power at all. Actually, technically, Pinnacle gear is the only gear that does help you increase and if I am correct, uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's probably in a different node. It's okay. So coming down to the Vanguard, you go ahead and complete three strikes as well as complete the Nightfall, the Ordeal. And we need to go ahead and do five of these as well as get one of them with 100,000 points. Coming down to Gambit. We need to go ahead and complete three Gambit matches, uh, whether that's Gambit or Gambit Prime. As for the Crucible, we have uh, Control for the week. So go ahead and complete that as well as uh, we get another one for core matches. Actually, the both core, sorry. Uh, where is, here we go, uh, Rotator. So powerful gear for Rotator and powerful gear for core. Coming to the EDZ, we have your Heroic Adventure, as well as the wonderful Flashpoint. And you need to go ahead and complete Public Events, Lost Sectors, and Heroic Adventures. And there is nothing left here on the EDZ. Oh, for those who want to know, Isnami Forge is the Forge for the week. Or the day, sorry. And then coming up to the moon. We need to go ahead and get a complete three nightmare hunts as well as the weekly nightmare hunt, which is on the master difficulty. And then we also need to complete the memory pursuit for uh, Luna's calling for this wonderful person called Eris Morn, as well as get 100% uh, in the Vex offensive. So before we actually go ahead and head over to the gunsmith, we are going to see what Tess Everest had for us at the Eververse this week. Always good to see you, Guardian. So as for the weekly offerings, we have Ninja Vanish. That's cool. <laughs> then we have the Bad Dog, which is the ornament for the Leviathan's Breath. And I'm guessing this is the quest that is given to you from Banshee. Kind of almost looks like a uh, Monster Hunter World bow. Just saying. Then we have the Disruptive Camouflage for the Bygones. The uh, Jotunir for the Jotun. That's pretty badass looking for a vehicle. Then we have this wonderful ghost shell that I'm not going to trying to uh, pronounce. And then we have a nostalgic engram. Coming over here, we have your Glimmer Moon of the Vanguard, Glimmer Moon of the Crucible. Then we have this wonderful shader. Uh, 
And then we have this wonderful shader. Then we have the Shattered Shrieker Transmat effect. That's pretty cool. And then we have the Blood Runner uh, Speeder. And then last but not least, the Mind Jack Projection. Seasonal offerings are always the same, as well as the archive. So coming out on Bright Dust, we have the Fire Team Fire Up. And this can actually be done with two other members of a fire team. Then we have the Blood Runner, which is kind of already being sold for, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they're selling it twice. Then we have the Lunar Shell. This is actually a pretty cool uh, ghost shell. I like the moon with your uh, ghost encased in it. Then we got a ship. Cool reskin. Then we got the Salt of the Field ornament for the Pillager. The uh, Empyrean Cartographer Grips. And then we got the Daring Hat Projection. And just the top hat. Coming down here, we have the Gleaming Moon of the Vanguard of the Crucible. And then this wonderful thing again. No idea why they're just selling the same thing twice. I, I don't know. Then we have the uh, Vest Poison Shimmer Shader. The Dark Blade Effects Transmount Effect. And then the Vex Invasion Effects. So, make bows, not war. So this is an exotic quest. And while you're here, go ahead and pick up the uh, auto rifle loader. It makes your life so much easier. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny 2 LFG community that allows content creators and streamers to gain more exposure, and you can also contact me there as well. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys in the next video.